What is up guys? It is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling. Now recently my girlfriend, like myself, has gotten into amiibo collecting. Now if you're not sure what amiibos are, they are basically these plastic Nintendo figurines like this that scan into games on uh, the Wii U, the 3DS and the Nintendo Switch. Basically, they're just plastic figurines that stand still, little statues, and uh, yeah, you can scan them in and out of your games. Now, recently my girlfriend has gotten into this, uh, but mainly just Animal Crossing. She only has one amiibo right now, and it is actually a Digby amiibo uh, from Animal Crossing. This is a different one, this isn't her one. And I've been thinking, you know, recently, a lot of you may know I've taken a break from YouTube. I've been going through a bit of a, a rough patch in my life, I guess you can say, mentally, physically, whatever. And uh, she has been there for me every step of the way. And she has been above and beyond what anyone could expect of a girlfriend. Fantastic. And today I want to make something, uh, or not just today, it's going to be an ongoing project. I want to make something to say thank you to her. So what I am going to do is make a Animal Crossing Villager amiibo into her Animal Crossing Villager. The only real game she plays on Nintendo Switch is Animal Crossing New Horizons. I'm not really a big Animal Crossing fan. I know baseline knowledge and that's it. Uh, but I looked at her Animal Crossing Villager and I was like, you know what? This is not that far off from the current Villager amiibo. So I think I can turn that into a custom of her. So guys, follow me on this journey. I'm making this video so Ellie, so you can watch this, uh, watch this back once I give it to you. Hopefully uh, my plan in my mind, I can put, uh, put down in real life exactly as I want. So to kick things off, we are gonna move over to Photoshop. I'm gonna show you my idea and what I can visualize on Photoshop, and then we will move into actually making a start. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so we are on Photoshop right now. And as you can see, this is the bog standard Villager Amiibo. Now this is actually the version two. There is two versions of the Villager Amiibo. I'll see if I can get a quick comparison photo up on screen overlaying this. Uh, one basically has bigger eyes than the other. Uh, so I'm using the version two villager uh, as I think it would fit better with her one. Now, the main takeaways from this, it's obviously a male, uh, but the hairstyle is a uh, pretty generic uh, Animal Crossing. There is one that my Ellie Amiibo uh, will use. And uh, this is Ellie's actual Animal Crossing villager. Now you can see there is a lot of similarities to this. It shouldn't be too difficult to convert this uh, onto this. Now the hair is the same, it just needs a repaint and I'm gonna try and sculpt some actual like pigtails, these ones right here. I'm going to try and sculpt them onto the hair here. I need to paint the t-shirt white and add the Bonjour logo, uh, which is on this t-shirt right here. Uh, I've already made a little logo that I'm gonna try and print out, stick it on and then paint over it, but we'll see how that works later on. Also, uh, the villager is wearing shorts where Ellie is wearing grey joggers, so I'm going to need to sculpt uh, with Milliput epoxy clay is what I'm going to use for the hair and for these joggers right here. Just basically sculpt these down to the feet, uh, so just to make it long. Uh, luckily for me, the shoes are basically the same. Hers doesn't have laces, but it's not a big detail, so I'm not actually gonna paint over or sand down the laces. I'm just gonna leave the shoes exactly as they are. One last thing, the uh, the uh, the nose right here is triangular, and uh, Ellie's nose on Animal Crossing is spherical or oval. So I've made a quick, brief mock-up image of what I think it's going to look like. The other thing that I've also missed out is the eye color and the eyelashes. Now. I'm definitely gonna paint on the eyelashes, but I don't know whether to change the eye color. It might be pointless, we'll see. The villager's standard is black, and uh, yeah, Ellie's are brown with the black dots, so I'll just see how I feel later on, like it once in, I'm in the process, uh, but we're just gonna have to wait and see on that one. Anyway, I've uh, put together a quick comparison image here so you can see this is the standard villager, uh, this is my custom Ellie mock-up, and then this is Ellie's actual villager. Now the final thing that you guys can probably see is the changing in the colour of the bases. Now this villager is not an Animal Crossing series amiibo, it's actually a Smash Brothers series amiibo. Now, I don't want that. I want it to be on an Animal Crossing base, uh, which is why I bought that Digby figure you saw in the beginning of the video. 
These are the differences in the bases. You can see the Smash Brothers has the Smash emblem on like a golden coin look, uh, and the Animal Crossing one has the Animal Crossing grass with a brown look. Now ignore the uh, Tom Nook's feet right here. I just needed a photo of the base and this is the best I could find. So my overall plan, I'm going to take the Villager and the Digby Amiibo off of the base, stick it then onto the Animal Crossing base. I might have to fill in these holes right here with sculpt. I might have to dremel out a little bit more and paint over it. We're just gonna have to wait and see. But at the end of the day, I'm going to be attaching it to this base. I also need to open the base up of the Villager and the Smash Brothers one and switch the NFC chip on the inside into the Animal Crossing base so that when Ellie does scan her amiibo, her personal amiibo into the Animal Crossing game uh, or Smash Brothers or whatever she wants to use it for, it will register as the standard villager instead of registering as Digby. So I need to switch the NFC chips, I need to switch the bases and then I'm basically gonna sculpt on the hair and the joggers and then from there, hopefully, fingers crossed, it should be a straight up repaint. So we are gonna have to wait and see what happens. The only other thing from there is to add the Bonjour logo onto the t-shirt. I'm not going to freehand it. I'm going to try and print off a little decal and then paint over it, but we're just going to have to wait and see how that goes. But overall, that is the plan. So I think we're going to start off by heating up the figures and getting them off the bases, then switching out the bases. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's move downstairs and start this project. Before we start, ladies and gentlemen, I want to quickly show you all, all of the tools or the vast majority of the tools and supplies that I am going to be using for this project. Without further ado, let's go. A Smash Brothers series Villager Amiibo. An Animal Crossing series Digby Amiibo. Milliput Epoxy Clay. A huge variation of paintbrushes. Mod Podge Matte Sealer. A huge variation of acrylic paint. A plastic coated paperclip a crafting knife, a Dremel tool, and finally, some super glue. I may not use all of these tools, but these are the ones that I'm starting the project with. If I add anything more as the project goes on, I'll be sure to keep you guys updated. Let's get on with it. Okay, so I've just been sat here and I've realized that once the project is done, I'm still not 100% sure whether I want to give this back to Ellie in a box or not, whether it be the standard villager box, or if I make some custom box art, or I could just wrap up the Amiibo itself. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to use this crafting X-Acto knife thing. Uh, it is attached, thankfully. I wasn't sure whether it was going to be uh, screwed in or whatever, or however it works. I don't know. It's very old. And uh, I'm going to try and carefully open up this Amiibo box, uh, well, as, as careful as I can to preserve it as much as possible. I can, just in case I want to reseal it and give it back to Ellie like this, but with her villager. I don't know, uh, but yeah, let's do it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I am here. I have my two amiibo. I'm gonna drop them into this pan right here. Uh, I've boiled the kettle. Uh, I've seen that they're waterproof, shouldn't damage the NFC chip, so fingers crossed. Uh, I used to boil my wrestling figures as well, so you know, hopefully all goes good. We're gonna pop them in there. I'm then gonna fill up this pan with boiling water from the kettle like that and i'm just gonna leave them in there uh for like i don't know 30 seconds then i'm gonna take them out i've noticed the villager amiibo has like uh, a plastic thing around its leg that i'm gonna need to get rid of because i want to sculpt on that area sorry about the lighting it's a kitchen you know it's not like i'm in my bedroom trying to make a great quality video uh but yeah i'm just gonna leave these in here so they can get like oh washing machines going just so they get really loose and flimsy then hopefully i can either cut them or pop them straight off of their bases then pop the bases open i'll uh, i'll be back with you in a moment very quick update digby is out that's one down this villager is really giving me a hard time. I've had to go around with the knife and try and pop the actual amiibo out because I can't get it off the base. So I'm hoping that once I can get it out, I need to do this anyway to switch the NFC tags, but once it's out, maybe from underneath uh, or from just some method, I can try and actually get this villager off of the base. But here we go, it's off. There's the NFC tag. It's a little bit wet, but that should not be an issue. Uh, but unfortunately, let me just take it out, uh, if I can. They are super thin, just like a sticker. There it is. I'm gonna put that in a safe space for now, but unfortunately, it doesn't look like I can get the, uh, 
get this off from underneath. Obviously it's on these plastic legs, uh, these like clear plastic things. I'm trying to make it so you guys can see. There you go, camera won't focus, but they are deep in there, as you can see, rooted to the bottom of this with the plastic on that end. So this is gonna be real fun. Wish me luck. Good news, I've got the villager off the base. The bad news is the plastic bits are still attached to the Amiibo base, so they are currently boiling. Uh, now that villager's not in there, I can leave it in there a little bit longer. I was just, you know, a bit afraid of doing too much damage with the boiling aspect of doing things. Uh, but yeah, now, hopefully, fingers crossed, I can get the plastic bits off and reattach them to the other base. Look at the state of this base. There's no chance in hell you can reuse this. The, uh, this plastic bit is still attached. The other one is uh, lodged in there. But you know, I've got the main bit off. Right now, I've got the other base, uh, the Digby Amiibo base boiling. I'm going to get that out and hopefully with this knife and this screwdriver and uh, these to obviously get it out. I'm gonna really carefully try and remove the base. I do not want to scuff it up like I did this one because obviously I have to use it. Hello, Woody. Let's do it. Unfortunately for me, the uh, <laughs> this turned out a little bit worse than the Smash Brothers Amiibo internally. Uh, thankfully, this looks just, uh, well, looks fine. There's a little bit of cracked plastic there where it's been stuck here. I'm gonna try and have to get that out, I suppose. There's a few stress marks on the plastic, but it's nothing that's gonna to be too damaging, I don't think. Once the uh, the Villager Amiibo tag is back in and I've glued this on, we shouldn't have any issues. So, fingers crossed, all goes good. I am gonna go grab Smash Brothers Ultimate on my Nintendo Switch. I'm gonna quickly pop that tag in. Uh, I'm not gonna seal it, I'm just gonna make sure that it still works. I really, really hope it does. I can't be asked to come all this way and then have it not work. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's test it out. Okay, I've done the registration. Here we go. Moment of truth. Will this work? Registering complete. Yeah, there we go. It's Villager. Hell yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get back into making the custom. Okay, so it works. That's all we need to know. The next step is to glue the base down. Let's do it. Who have you got? Villager. Villager? Yeah. Wow. This bit isn't going to be difficult. I'm just going to glue down like four blobs on each section and hopefully it will hold. Now this is about to get interesting. It has reached the point now where I have glued this base down with the Villager NFC chip inside it. Uh, so I now need to get this Villager onto this base. And the way I'm going to do that, as you can see, this villager has a peg on the foot right here. This is what kept him in the Smash Brothers base. We also have this little bit of plastic that I am gonna put on the foot and then glue on just like it was on the Smash Brothers base as well. But I can't do that when the base looks like this. So what I'm actually gonna have to do is use this Dremel right here. And uh, what I'm gonna do with that, with this little ballpoint tip, is I'm gonna Dremel into this plastic, hopefully without cracking it, um, and yeah, what I'm going to basically do is just cut down deep uh, the shape of this peg so I can slot him right in. Then later on in the process, I will fill in the original holes with Milliput Epoxy Clay and paint over them. This is really nerve wracking. I might quickly heat this up with a hairdryer, I'm not too sure, just to make sure the plastic's a little bit flimsy, not as firm, because it is quite a thin plastic. I don't want it to crack. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, Let's time lapse this shit. Here we go guys, this is it on the base. Uh, I was quite happy with it a little while ago, but I realized it wasn't as center as I want it. And uh, now I've followed the holes that were initially there by the Digby Amiibo, and this is what we're left with. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use the Milliput two-part epoxy clay to sculpt in the gaps, basically. And then once they are dry, uh, hopefully I shouldn't even need to glue this in. I should be able to just sculpt around it. Uh, but yeah, the villager will be on the Animal Crossing base, and then I can sculpt on the pigtails and stuff, all of that, maybe another day. But this is it for now, and I am very happy. 
Okay, so now it's time for me to use the Milliput Epoxy Clay. Now, you guys aren't going to be able to see my face really in this because of the angle. Uh, but to cut a long story short, I've got the villager on. I just need to fill in them holes with the clay. I'm not going to do all the sculpting right now. Uh, so the pigtails and the trousers, I'm literally just going to fill this in and then I'm going to call it, uh, call it quits for the day and we will pick it up again another day. So ladies and gentlemen, another time lapse. Let's sculpt in the holes. Here we are. Tilly was helping me, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah, we're just going to go out in the garden in a minute. That's why you've got this funny hat on. Uh, anyway, uh, here we go, guys. It's not perfect. Uh, it's a very patchworky job, but, you know, it does the job. I've put Villager's foot in there, so hopefully he will stay in there. Um, but if not, I can always take him out and glue him because there would be a mould of his foot once this hardens. Um, also, I'm probably going to end up trying to maybe get a little fine grain bit of sandpaper and sand it down to try and make it a little bit smoother. Uh, if I can't, it is what it is. Other than that, I just need to paint it green, really, uh, with some triangles. Try and colour match that green, which is going to be annoying, but I don't mind. There you go. That's all I'm going to do for today. This video will pick up another day when I continue this project. Okay, so after spending ages trying to mix colours to get the right amount of green, I finally painted, uh, well, the uh, the green grass bit of the base over the clay. Now, this is not a good job at all. Uh, I could have done a lot better, I think, uh, in the future. But as my first attempt, you know, it is what it is. I don't think it's that much of an eyesore. I mean, you're not going to be paying too much attention to the base anyway. It just teaches me that I need to be more careful when sculpting on the actual figure itself to make sure I get it smooth. Uh, but there, there you go. That's the uh, that's the base. I've tried to replicate the triangular pattern. I've tried to replicate the darker grass. Uh, it's not great, but I'm happy to leave it there. Uh, I just need to make sure I do a better job on the figure itself. Okay, so it's the next day. Uh, I'm not planning on doing too much today because I'm a bit short for time, but I'm going to try and do something. Uh, on second glance, I don't actually mind the grass, uh, the pattern where I've sculpted. I don't think it's that bad. You know, you're not going to be looking at the base. You're going to be looking at the figure. So I'm going to leave that. And uh, today what we're actually going to be doing is just turning these shorts into joggers which is going to be fun i'm not going to sand or i'm going to try not to sand or dremel any down i'm just going to try and sculpt uh down to the foot but we'll see how that looks if it looked bad i might have to sand this down but either way uh let's get sculpting once again i'm just going to be using some milliput uh, i've got one of these old paint spreader things that i'm going to be using to flatten the sculpt uh, this rounded edge i'm going to like just roll it uh, around it. I've also got toothpicks for the more precise movements and uh, a little bit of water that I can dip my fingers into and moisten up the, uh, the clay, I guess you could say, uh, just so make it more pliable so it doesn't get all stuck to my fingers. But yeah, let's time lapse it. Okay, so this is the first leg done. Um, I just need to touch it up and smooth up areas such as this bit right here, which you're seeing. Uh, but overall, I think this could work. It's not going to look perfect, obviously. But just as a quick conversion from shorts to joggers, I think this will do the job. And here is the final sculpt on the villagers' trousers, joggers, shorts conversion, whatever you want to say. Uh, it's not as smooth as it could be probably be but i'm going to be painting over it and i can always file it uh, or sand it if i'm not happy with the results and you know i'm i'm not a super artistic perfectionist person now uh, i i would have had to get this perfect before but now uh, I, I think that Ellie is going to really appreciate the imperfections just because it is a custom. I'm not going to get it factory smooth like it was produced by Nintendo themselves. So, uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. Once these dry, I will be painting them grey uh, once I paint everything. I think next up to do is I need to sculpt on the pigtails and I need to get rid of this nose and sculpt on the tiny nose. So we will be doing that next, whether that be today, another day, I don't know. But that's what you're going to see next. 
Okay, so it's a little bit later and I've decided that yes, I'm gonna get rid of the nose today and sculpt on another one. It shouldn't be too difficult. Literally, just getting rid of that triangle, sanding it down flat with this head on the Dremel and then sculpting a very, very tiny ball uh, or oval shape for the nose. I'm not gonna time lapse it, I'm just gonna do it. And just like that, Ellie Villager is now officially turned into Voldemort. <laughs> Let's sculpt a new nose. Okay, so with the smallest bit possible, I have crafted this nose. The only thing is, I feel like it's gonna fall off. Uh, so I'm gonna have to try and make it dry by laying it down, but we'll see. Shouldn't be an issue. Anyway, uh, I'll get back to you guys once these have dried. Okay, so I haven't filmed a progress update in a couple of days. You know, I've had other stuff on. Finally though, I've had a shave, which is a plus, uh, but now it is time for probably the either most stressful or second most stressful part of it in my opinion and that is putting the pigtails on so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this dremel head this tiny ball dremel head to dremel holes in like just above the ears on either side then i'm going to cut this uh paper clip this plastic coated paper clip to a certain length uh, it will be the same for both glue that into the head and then sculpt around the clip then leave that to dry. And then once that is done, all of the sculpting is finished and I can finally get onto painting. This is gonna be stressful. So uh, I don't know if I'm gonna do a time-lapse or what, but let's just get on with it. Okay, so using this photo of Ellie's Villager for reference, I have drilled the holes through the head. Luckily, there is a middle seam on the figure that you can't actually really make out, but I was using that for reference, which basically means I've got it on the same line for both sides, even if they might be slightly different heights. I've drilled the whole way through because now I'm gonna cut this paper clip up into pieces. And uh, basically what I'm gonna do is if I show you right now, I'm gonna stick it through like that so it's in the head, then cut it to the size I want, then just put glue on the inside and hope that it holds. That's my plan anyway, we'll see if it works. Everyone meet Alien Villager. Time to sculpt again. I need to mix the two part epoxy together. Then I'm gonna build around the head. I've used the glue to put the antennas in place. And as you can see, they are pretty sturdy. You know, they're, they're not going anywhere, which is what I want. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna build around them with the clay and hopefully build it up so it can look like that. And the pigtails are sculpted. They look a bit more like Shrek ears right now just because they're unpainted and stuff, but uh, I'm happy with them. I think that they will dry up okay. And then, uh, yeah, that's all the sculpting done. Now we need to move on to painting. Another day has gone past and I am happy to say that they have dried up nicely, which means they are ready to be painted. I'm talking about the pigtails, obviously. And uh, yeah, so it's time for me to paint this figure. Am I nervous? Yes. Am I gonna time lapse it? No, there's a lot to do and uh, just in case there's room for, I need to give myself sort of room for error. Uh, so I'm not actually gonna be time-lapsing the painting, but uh, I probably will do a bit of time. I'm not gonna get it all done in one sitting, so be expecting a few cuts. Anyway, quick fact that I have just realized, his hair is actually brown and then like fades into black. I didn't know that. Anyway, not gonna be that for much longer. Let's get on with the painting. Okay, so doing coat after coat after coat after coat, finally I have decided that I am happy with the hair. Now, I mixed together this paint along with this brown paint and a little bit of that white uh, to get this colour. And it matches up quite nicely, uh, I think, if that's the back of it. Uh, I masked it all off as well, so obviously uh, I tried to not be as like sloppy as I could, you know, no real paint markings anywhere else. There you see, there is the Ellie I am aiming for. I think I got the color pretty much okay. Uh, I didn't paint it white at first. I thought maybe just doing it all in white and then doing it in one color. Uh, but I wanted the sort of brown tin underneath and I also wanted to keep the brown edges because I think they make, uh, make it look more shadowed so you can see the cutouts in the hair off of the, the actual face, if that makes sense. Uh, so I'm a fan of the brown edges, so I kept them too. But there we go, that is the hair finally complete. Okay, that is all the painting done for tonight. That is the hair done, the nose, the eyes, and the eyelashes. I was really nervous when doing the eyes, 
but I think they turned out all right. I'm actually uh, quite proud of them. The nose is a bit messed up due to the sculpt and the paint underneath and, you know, uh, the having to, the sanding marks from when I had to dremel the actual nose off. Uh, but I think it's okay. I am not going to seal it just yet. I'm just going to leave it as is until I finish painting the shirt and the joggers and I might do a little bit of t a touch up on the shoes, but we shall see. But it's really coming along. We are very, very nearly finished and I can't wait to see the final result. The t-shirt is now fully painted white. It's a little bit rough in the neckline area as I take that off. Uh, so there's a little bit there, but I've tried to touch it up as best as I could. I'm happy with it. Uh, I've done a baseline layer on the legs for the gray, uh, obviously, just so this has something to cling to, a bit like a primer. Um, before I actually put the grey on, but the t-shirt and the head is done. I have also mod podged the head, so this is now sealed and uh, it's ready basically. The head is ready, but the body is still unfinished. I need to print off the Bonjour decal and paint over that, as well as painting over the grey. And once that is done, this is finally finished. The joggers are also now completed, as you can see, there they are. And uh, yeah, just a little bit more cleanup to do. And basically all that is left is for me to add the decal. I'm also toying with the idea of maybe repainting the shoes blue, just because there's a little bit of epoxy clay on them, which gives it a little bit of a green twinge you might be able to see. Uh, and if I can't get it off with a toothpick, I might repaint it. So we're just gonna have to wait and see. But other than that, clean up, decal, mod podge the lot, and we are done. I decided to repaint the shoes. Uh, I figured I've painted the rest of it anyway. I might as well just do it. Now they are more accurate as I've got rid of the laces and I've changed the color of blue. Overall, I'm happy. There's one last thing to do and that's put the decal on. Let's do it. And I think it's finished. I've stuck on the Bonjour decal. All I really did was I just went onto Photoshop, printed out a few different sized ones onto an A4 sheet and printed it off and picked the one that size matched the most, which is this. I think if I paint it, it's gonna lose some of the, like, the detail in the font. Um, and obviously it being on white, you can't really tell that it's a paper decal anyway. I am happy with this. I think Ellie's gonna be ecstatic. The one thing that I am gonna do now, and I'm not gonna show you guys the process, I'm just gonna do it. I'm actually gonna make some custom box art and seal this thing in a box. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's skip right to the end of the process and we'll see it when it's complete. Okay guys, I'm just in the process of making the box art now. I wanna make it something a bit different so that Ellie's not gonna think that it's an amiibo because I will be wrapping it up. And I just thought, you know what? This is the last chance it's gonna be out of the box. Here is a full 360 view of my completed Ellie Villager Amiibo. It is sealed, it is done. The only thing left for me to do is put it in its box. So here you go, guys. I'm turning it around. We've got the Bonjour logo. We've got the white t-shirt, the grey joggers, the blue shoes, the pigtails, of course. And there it is is I could not be more happy with this. I am really, really proud with it, and I, uh, I really hope Ellie enjoys it. Once again, it does function as a working villager amiibo as well. I am gonna be using the original box art, uh, this bit, to basically prop it up like that. It does stand in there, so that's how it's gonna sit. And I think what I'm gonna do is have the box cut off at the top, so it's this shape, like a cube, instead of like having the tall uh, amiibo backing like they normally do. Uh, yeah, anyway, that's the view that I'm going with. I wanna just have that in the back. I'm gonna be making that now. So guys, this time, for real, the next time you see this, it will be complete. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, it is finally complete. The Ellie Amiibo. Now, I cut the top of the box and give it its own sort of custom box art because Ellie knows what an Amiibo box looks like, and if I'm wrapping it up, she's gonna know immediately. I've cut the top off, it's a little bit more discreet, uh, so hopefully she's gonna enjoy it. Hopefully she can even get into the box because I've glued this thing shut, so that could be interesting. But anyway, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. It is finally complete. I'm gonna leave this video now for at least a week or two, depending on the next time I actually see Ellie, where I will hopefully Fingers crossed, she might not want it posted, but I'll hopefully post her reaction. Without further ado, guys, I'll see you very soon. Two weeks later. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the day has finally arrived. It is time, moment of truth. I've waited weeks for this. Uh, and uh, before we get started, uh, Joe Talks Wrestling audience, my beautiful girlfriend, Ellie. Hi. 
<laughs> there we go. Uh, so hopefully I've spent a long time uh, on this. Forgive me for the wrapping, it's not the best. But uh, Ellie, <clears throat> here's your present. Uh, this is because uh, obviously I've been struggling a lot at the start of this year mentally and physically and uh, you have just been absolutely amazing the whole time. So Aww. I wanted to uh, I wanted to get you something as a thank you. Thank you. Um, well, don't thank me yet. We've got to see if you like <laughs> I'm sure you will. Hopefully you will. Can I open it now? Right, go for it. Yeah, open it. If you can actually get in. Right, Do you want scissors? Yeah. Okay, I'll get scissors. <laughs> I don't want to break Keep it. Keep going, I'll get scissors. Keep going with what? Don't just keep trying. Right, there you go. Thank you. I'm not going to cut into anything that I'm going to break. Uh, no. Now. I mean, if, you, if you're careful with it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 that's. Can't get into it. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Did you camera? make that? Yeah. And I've got half an hour of footage. <laughs> That's for us to go through to oh, show you me making, making it. it yeah it scans in as a villager as well <laughs> it's a good job i didn't change my outfit i was gonna change my outfit <laughs> <laughs> oh god <laughs> can you imagine if she changes her outfit on animal crossing no oh that's so cute you're never allowed to change that outfit now thank you that's okay do you want to open it, it up yeah but i don't really yeah good luck no, i made this this is just paper this isn't this box is literally, you were meant to break it, it's not meant to be. Did you make the box? Uh, well, I customised the box. It was initially a normal villager amiibo, so... So when I scan is, it, what does it do? Uh, it'll just class as villager. So like, if you scan it onto like Super Mario Odyssey or something like that, just as for example's sake, it will scan in and it will say, this is a villager amiibo. Will it be me though? No, it, it, it doesn't show you the photo. It's got aesthetic. Yeah, there you go. I've got you started. You can Thank do all the stuff. Is this what it looked like before? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you got this one. Wait, you're gonna make this into you? No, 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 no. no. I've uh, I've got a different one that I'm, I might be doing in the future. We'll see how this video does and whether I do that on camera or not. Just put it from me then. Just give that a, no, from me. <laughs> I can see that bit. I don't want to break it. I wanted to, I should have kept it in. Oh, it says Ellie on it. I didn't yeah. even see that. You shouldn't even see it after all that. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Have you glued it in? Mm -hmm. Oh, that is so cute. <laughs> How cute is that? They've seen it enough. <laughs> oh, step by step, you. every step of the way I've recorded it. This is going to be one big video. As long as you're happy for me to upload this. Oh, and, uh, that is so cute. Thank you. It's okay. I love it. What did you make these out of? Uh, so that was, they are paper clips in there and then I've, I've clayed around it. You'll see, you'll see it all. I don't want to give away too much. Yeah. It was on, initially on a Smash Brothers base though. So I bought another Digby. Um, <laughs> And then took him off the base and put it on. So that's why there's a few like stress marks on the plastic. Yeah. But, and why it's a bit patchworky here. Oh. Uh, but yeah, he's uh, she is in there. She's not going nowhere. It's a fully functioning working amiibo. So. Oh. But there you go. Are you happy? Yeah, I love it. Thank you. Yes, success, guys. There we go. Right. And uh, with that being said, <laughs> I think we can end the video there. So thank you for watching, everyone. If you're uh, still sticking around, it's been over half an hour at this point. I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. This is my beautiful girlfriend, Ellie. Uh, this is her awesome amiibo <laughs> that I made her. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Goodbye.